What is going on everybody? Episode 2 of Beyond the Edge. Before we jump into tonight's recap, just want to talk about the host real quick. Um, he's just not very good. Like, I just feel like everything about this guy is fake and that he really just doesn't care in the least. And I don't, I don't know if that is necessarily true, but that is the way that I feel after watching two episodes of the show. I don't know how anybody else feels, but you know, I just, I just don't like him. I don't like the host. And, uh, you know, as, as we were watching today, I was remembered watching uh, a boxing match and he was one of the commentators and he was on this panel with Sugar Ray Leonard and he was annoying Sugar Ray so much that like Sugar Ray Leonard was trying to fight the guy. He was the guy who was the host. He was trying to fight him while on the panel at the boxing match. But uh, anyways, just a little side ta tangent. I don't know how everybody else is feeling, but just wanted to share my thoughts on that. All right, let's jump into episode two now. So they all, everyone survives their first night in the jungle and it was not a pleasant night. The rain started dumping in the middle of the night. The shelter looks like looked like it was falling apart. Everybody it was soaking wet. That little scene where Paulina held up her hands and they were just completely pruned uh, after waking up in the morning. That's not a nice feeling to wake up to uh, just knowing that you basically were in water just all night long. Um, so yeah, pretty a rough night, but everybody made it through the night. Nobody rang the bell, which honestly I was a little surprised by. I thought that first miserable night that there would be people who would tap out. Um, this week's challenge, we split into three teams uh, with $30,000 on the line. So each person from the winning team will get $10,000 dollars for the teams uh we have we split up into three captains we had lauren colton and mike lauren got ray and craig on her team colton got jody and meta and mike had ebony and paulina um just right away like just looking at the teams to me i was like yeah probably uh lauren's team with ray and craig are just the best team like period, I I don't know which team would would be better. They just just seemed like by far the best team. And as we got into the challenge, they just kind of kicked ass all of the way through. So the bunch of stages in this week's challenge. Uh, we had a, first a 60 foot slack line, then a little bit of mountain biking. Uh, I think it was a six story rope ladder, and then we ended it off with a can puzzle so it was just a, just a word puzzle um i thought that the slack line would be a little more interesting really it wasn't because the way they did it was one person did the slack line where two other people held ropes and walked down the balance beams really the teams didn't have too much trouble with this step uh and it was largely uneventful same with the m mountain bikes uh you know it's just riding a bike. If, if you can ride a bike, then riding a bike's riding a bike. The rope ladder, uh, Colton, he had a little flashback to last episode where he lost the puzzle pieces. Well, he's climbing the rope ladder and he drops, uh, he drops one of the bags because uh, he and his team had forgot to snap them in. Um, the the red team they had a huge lead of oh, pardon me the red team was lauren ray and craig uh, they had a huge lead get to the, the the detour where they can decide to go for the clue or just go straight to the puzzle they decide to go get the clue uh, and you know what they had such a big lead they went for the detour got the clue and still made it to the final puzzle First, uh, yellow team gets their second. Yellow team was Colton, Jody, and Meta. Uh, and then the blue team of Mike, Ebony, and Paulina. They 
where they felt so far behind. Uh, I think they basically got to the final the final stage with the the can puzzle uh, right as red team was winning. So yeah, you know, I was wondering like, well, was it was the hint really that much of an advantage? I, this week, I just don't think it mattered because red team just kicked ass that much. Um, so uh, Lauren, Ray, and Craig, they'll win $10,000 for their charity. And on top of that, all nine people still out there in the jungle each get an additional $2,000 for their charities. And as, as we go through this, the prizes are going to increase uh, with each uh, progressive episode. The Lanterns. Uh, it was kind of interesting because, you know, last, last week seemed like Meta was pretty close to tapping. Well, this week he does, but uh, I thought Mike Singletary was, had convinced him to stay. I thought Mike Singletary had convinced Meta to stay before Ray Lewis kind of jumped in uh, and went, I think, a little bit too hard at Meta to try to get him to change his mind. But I'll tell you, I think Mike Singletary could convince me to do absolutely anything. Like, any time he... Like, you can just tell he's a coach. Like, the way the way he talks... He like that's he's he's motivating you. He's driving you towards the next goal, whatever that may be. And like you watch him and you're you're just like, yeah, I want to be on that guy's team. Like I want to fight for that guy. Uh, it was very, very interesting to me uh, as somebody who's a football fan. So, yeah, that is about it for uh, week two. Um, what did, what did I miss? Uh, the, the the red team, Lauren, Ray, and Craig, they also got a little reward, which was some food, which uh, I didn't realize that they weren't getting food while they were out here. You know, they're just surviving on coconuts and bananas and whatever they can find in the jungle. So uh, not only were Lauren, Ray, and Craig the strongest, now they are all, all have one good meal in their bodies on top of that. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this week. Um, uh, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we will see you later.